Hey guys, Scriv Kid here again. Um, some things were brought to my attention that I kind of wanted to shed some light on and whatnot. Um, some things uh, really don't want to. I really don't want to say that it's like serious and everything, but it's something that do need to you know be talked about. Um, and that's relationships from a guy perspective or a guy point of view, whichever one you want to say. Um, one thing that I've always noticed in everything is that the way that society is now, um, the men are pretty much this really heinous species in everything or gender to where, you know, we do all these things that is just wrong in a relationship, whether it be cheating, uh, emotional abuse, spiritual abuse, mental abuse or even physical abuse and so a lot of guys in everything a lot of good guys you know such as myself in everything you know we're categorized under you know the simple fact that okay yeah one bad uh person does this to a female and then that female right then and there is going to think that all guys are the same and that's that's not true at all and so you never see anything about a female who's pretty much being the bad one in a relationship. You know, they portray it, you know, in the media, they portray it as the female is the sensitive one or the oversensitive one in everything. She's always the one that's getting hurt. She's always the one that's being done wrong. And so, to sum it all up, they make it seem like the female is a perfect uh, gender and the males have so many flaws to where it's it's just whatever but I'm going to tell y'all about all of my previous relationships and I'm going to let y'all kind of do a uh, compare and contrast and everything and so uh, if any of my ex-girlfriends um, see this and everything I'm not saying this to slander you or anything like that I'm just giving a personal experience in everything so that people can see just exactly what it is I'm talking about. Um, but also, I won't say any names either. Um, my first relationship, uh, or my first serious relationship. Um, it, well, you know, before I get into that, uh, one relationship uh, that I thought that I was going to pursue um, happened my senior year in high school me and this girl we met um, the summer before the new school year had started um, in 07 and everything we met and stuff like that and so we clicked really really well um, and even to this day she we kind of realized that you know being in a relationship really wasn't uh, for us and everything and so now she's actually my best friend but when we first met and everything, we, uh, I had met her through my little brother. And so we became real cool and everything. And so even though we had never met, we talked on the phone 24 seven, we always uh, talk, we always text and stuff like that. And so um, we were real excited because it was gonna be my senior year in high school and it was gonna be her freshman year and we were gonna go to the same school. And so I told her everything about me. And so for all of you who don't uh, really know me personally and everything, I'm not sure if you can actually tell or not, but I'm not the tallest guy in the world. I'm only five, I think five one or five two. And so, um, you know, I told her, you know, hey, look, I'm short and everything. I told her I'm a diabetic. Uh, you know, I told her, you know, I'm not the most uh, perfect guy. Yeah, of course, you know, I'm gonna make mistakes and whatnot. And so she seemed like she was okay with that. She seemed, you know, that she was all right with the fact that, you know, I was short and everything or shorter than her because, uh, you know, she didn't really say anything about it. And so first day of school and whatnot, um, I get to school and everything, you know, tell her, hey, I'm about to be, you know, at such and such and everything, a hallway and everything, come meet up with me and everything. So show up and stuff like that. And then, like, right then and there, like, she didn't want, like, she didn't really want to have nothing to do with me. And so, 
that kind of hurt and everything. And so I was like, okay, well, you know, she was having a bad morning and everything. So I was like, okay, well, you know, maybe it's because of the bad morning and, you know, stuff like that, whatever, cool. So later that day, she broke up with me because she couldn't have anybody. She couldn't be with anybody that was either shorter than her or her height. Now, to this day, I'm actually a little bit taller than her, ironically. I know, right? Um, but, you know, today, me and her are, you know, real cool and everything. We're real, uh, she really is my best friend and stuff like that. Um, and she's really a sweetheart and stuff like that. And I love her to death. Um, my girlfriend after that, still, not going to say no names and everything. She seemed really, really you know, cool and everything. I thought that she was a good person and stuff like that. But during our relationship, we we pretty much was like fighting all the time. We were fighting all the time and stuff like that. And so, uh, you know, she was always saying this and saying that and everything. Come to find out, you know, she was lying to me about a lot and everything. And so we had a three-year off and on uh, relationship. And so I finally broke it off with her and everything, and so, um, you know, I, every time I think about our relationship, I'm just like, okay, how is it, um, you know, that, how is it that, you know, you, what, what goes on through your head and everything, you know, because she's one of those type of girls and everything that think that, okay, she's always the victim, you know, she always plays the victim role. I'm not saying that I don't do it uh, either because, you know, yeah, sometimes I do. I'll admit that, whatever, cool, okay? But, um, you know, she's really, she really wasn't um, that great of a girlfriend and everything. She was, you know, more of a friend. And so uh, my girlfriend, after that, um, you know, again, I'm not slandering anybody and everything. This is just, you know, from what I picked out of the relationship. My girlfriend, um, after that, um, the relationship only lasted four months, uh, because I've been knowing her for years and everything. I've been knowing her since I think 05, 06 and stuff like that. And so she's real cool and everything. She's a real cool, um, uh, person and everything, but she was practically just using me. She was just using me. Uh, the only time we ever talked on the phone and everything was like, we only literally talked on the phone twice to just have a normal conversation, a normal boyfriend-girlfriend conversation. Um, after that and everything, you know, any other time, every time uh, we text and everything, or every time she called me, you know, she yeah, she called me thousands of times and everything, blew up my phone, but that's only so that I can pick her up or drop her off. Or, you know, she texts me so I, she can borrow money from me or, you know, do this or do that for her and everything. And so I was like, okay, well, I do feel kind of used and everything, so I did have to uh, end the relationship. Um, and so, yeah, we do still kind of talk off and on and everything, but not really much. Um, and so my girlfriend, after that, this this was the biggest thing for me because we had established a friendship. We established a friendship and everything. We've been friends for about a year and a half and everything before we even got together. And so... Uh, I had fell in love with her, but I never told her. I didn't tell her until like close to us actually getting together. And so, um, you know, we got together and everything, and I thought everything was going real good and stuff like that. You know, like any normal relationship, yeah, we get into fights, you know, we get into um, disputes, arguments, and stuff like that. And so, um, one day, like, just out of she breaks up with me. She tells me uh, two reasons as to why she was breaking up with me. And then come to find out, she told one of my other friends uh, the actual truth as to why she was breaking up with me. And so she um, she's also one of those type of girls to where she, you know, she's she really don't like cheaters and everything. And so come to find out, uh, got together and everything, I was the only boy that she was talking to. And I find that kind of hypocritical because how is it that you don't want a guy cheating on you, but yet you're talking to other boys and everything while you're so-called with somebody. 
And so I really don't talk to her much now and everything. And so, you know, it, it really did take me like on a real, real bad emotional roller coaster. And so to be honest, because of that relationship, I contemplated suicide and everything. I just thought that my whole world was going to end. And so with my relationship now and everything with my fiance, uh, now I'm actually going to say her name, my fiance, uh, Alexia, and everything, who was in my last blog, um, one thing that I can say is she really is the perfect girl for me. She really is. You know, yes, we do get into disputes. Yes, we do um, have our problems and everything. But in the end, she is always there for me. Just like in the end, I'm always there for her. And she's not the type of person to where she's going to look at what's on the outside and everything. And then base her judgment off of that. And a lot of girls do that. They look at a guy and everything. They, the way the media is portraying it is... Uh, the media wants girls to have guys who are tall or, you know, masculine and everything, who, you know, got a six pack, who, you know, pretty much is per who looks perfect on the outside. But then at the same time, you also got to uh, realize, well, what's on the inside? For girls, what you need to realize is, you know, yeah, he do look good on the outside and everything, but is he good for me on what's on the inside? Will he spiritually uh, fulfill me, mentally fulfill me? emotionally fulfill me, as well as physical, if y'all decide to go that way. And so, you know, there's girls out there that cheat on good guys, just like there's guys that cheat on good girls and everything. There's girls that pretty much the thing is when it comes to male and females is they do the exact same thing. They, they, do, they do the exact same thing. But the difference between the two is that girls are more classy with it and they actually know how to get away with it guys i'll admit guys are sloppy we think that you know we can you know screw around on other girls and everything and you know just not we can get away with it whatsoever and then we wind up getting caught and then looking dumb in the end and so you know from a male perspective our relationships and everything, you know, there are good guys out there. You know, there are guys that get jealous. There are guys that uh, that cry. And yes, there are guys that do cry and everything. Now, not, you know, that boo-hoo funeral type cry and everything. Not the, not the type of cry and everything that um, uh, Yvette on Baby Boy had. You know, that I call it that Jody don't love me no more face. Yeah, no, no. I'm not talking about that cry. You know, yes, we do cry and everything tears fall, stuff like that, there's guys that actually do care about the girls that we with. There's guys that actually want to pursue, you know, the relationship. Just like there's girls that want to pursue their relationship, there's also girls that, you know, are just using guys in everything. And so, you know, this is just my perspective on relationships, on how a relationship should go, because it should be 50-50. It shouldn't be 75-25. It shouldn't be uh, 49, 51, no, it should be 50, 50. The men are supposed to provide in everything and be there for the woman and the woman's supposed to be the support. That's how, that's how I see relationships. You know, it's even in scripture. And in scripture it says that a man is supposed to submit to his wife just like a wife is supposed to submit to her husband. You know, I'm doing everything that I can to make sure that I submit and everything to Alexia to make sure that you know she's good she's happy and everything I want it to be to where she actually is proud to call me hers to call me her boyfriend call me a fiance and you know sometime in the future call me her husband I want her to actually be proud of me for that not for what it is that I can physically do and everything of you know getting a job you know stuff like that or, or working and everything but no where I can she can actually say that she's spiritually happy. She's emotionally happy in everything. That's how I see relationships. That men are supposed to be like that for females, just like how females are supposed to be that way for a man. Everybody's supposed to be happy in a relationship. You know, whatever hardships come in everything, they're supposed to sit, work 
together and everything and then just, you know, go forward with it. You know, whatever uh, problems that come in the relationship, you know, that y'all supposed to deal with it and everything. You, the first sign of a problem, you shouldn't, you know, whether you're male or female, at the first sign of a, a problem, you shouldn't want to just run and break up. Because for one thing, no relationship is perfect. No relationship is perfect. So, um, with all that being said and everything, you know, I just want to, you know, let my viewers know and stuff like that, that, um, my perspective and everything on, uh, what relationships are like and everything from a guy perspective. You know, I gave my background history and everything, uh, with my relationships and, uh, you know, also when it came to that, don't get it twisted, uh, it's not like I was always the victim of everything because yes I did um you know say stuff and stuff like that to cause the arguments and everything yeah, okay yeah no I did make my mistakes I did have my flaws and everything but then also at the same time the point of me telling you about my previous relationships was to say that girls can hurt guys just like how guys can hurt girls so with all that being said and everything I thank y'all for uh watching this video and everything and so uh, subscribe and everything, comment, rate and everything on my videos and everything, listen to my beats and let me know what you think. I'll talk to y'all a little later. Bye.